the same principles that are applied to gear systems are also applied to chain and sprocket systems. In this simple setup, we have a 10 tooth sprocket and a 40 tooth sprocket. We've also drawn a line between these teeth so you can keep track of how much they've turned. We will drive the 10 tooth sprocket and the 40 tooth sprocket will be the driven sprocket. Let's turn our driving sprocket one complete revolution. Notice our driven sprocket is only traveled one quarter the distance. It will take us four rotations of the driving sprocket for the teeth to line up, giving us a four to one gear ratio. And we will have four times the torque applied to our output shaft, but only one quarter the speed. If we reverse our sprocket system and drive the 40 tooth sprocket, and have the 10 tooth sprocket as our driven sprocket, you'll notice that the 10 tooth sprocket spins four times as fast, but it will only have one quarter the amount of torque applied to 